Hello, more updates to Steve's Factory Manager, but this time it's just a short update, but I think it's very useful. So uh, let's take a look on this machine here. So the, the thing it does is that it's going to uh, uh, check for the receiver there. It's going to take the items from the player, uh, output it into the creative the supplier, which will delete the items. And then if we have a condition to be true on this other node, then we want to uh, grab a, a cake uh, there and give it to the user basically. So nothing special. So now if I jump here oh, that will happen and if I do that that will happen. But it, it's a bit tricky to see that from this and, and as you see I ran out of space a bit. So let's let's clean that up uh, like so. You know I can place that there. Uh, this one goes there. That's fine. And um, here we go. So this is a new feature. You can add notes to these uh, things like that. So the way I'm doing it is First, I, uh, I right-clicked uh, on the node that is connected, and then I can grab one. So each time I do that, I will get one of those. If you already have an existing node, you can left-click and move it. Or you can right-click to duplicate it. Or shift-right-click to remove. So hold shift and right-click to remove. Uh, left-click move, just moves it. And then right-click makes a duplicate uh, in one of the directions. So there you go quite nice. Uh, maybe I should move it like that. That one can go like so. So obviously this doesn't do anything special but it allows us to um, as you can see sometimes it's a bit tricky because you don't know which direction it's going to create it. It's not random, it's it's uh, a specific direction but it can be tricky to know which one. There you go. So it won't really do anything special but now you can easily create bigger things and still uh, keep track of how, how the flow goes because it can get a bit messy when you have a lot of components with multiple outputs and inputs that just goes all over the place but add some notes and that will be cleaned up. Uh, you can only have 15 nodes per connection so I think that should be fine. So if you connect one pin here to the other one here, we uh, use three nodes. So you can only have 15 like so, but then you can have 15 for each connection, so that's fine. But you might realize when I open these uh, components that we have a new button here. And if you click that one, we get a cursor here that we can move around using the arrow keys. So I can rename this. So uh, let's rename it Pressure Palate. Um, yeah, let's let's uh, yeah, let's call it pressure plate. As you can see, it's actually turning yellow here in the end. Uh, is that a problem? Well, not really. What is uh, it's doing is that it's uh, and I can't spell plate. There you go. Uh, it's indicating that the thing that are yellow will not be visible when we make it small, but it will still be visible when we make it big. Uh, if you do some editing here and you're not happy with what you did, then just hit X here and it will go back to whatever it has. So now I, I'm calling that a pressure plate, even though we can't see the whole thing. Maybe we could call it a plate or whatever. Uh, here we have, um, let's see, uh, I'm going to just go, go call this player um, void stuff. So I'm going to void it using the creative supply. Uh, if uh, cake, maybe. Uh, grab a cake. And then I'm just going to call this player uh, to player. Actually, what we can do is actually to call this uh, from player like that. So uh, we can't see the whole text here, uh, the pressure plate one, but now it's quite, uh, quite easy to just from this view to see it. First of all, it's organized with the nodes, so it's no mess there, but then we can also see pressure plate, then from player, then we avoid that stuff. If cake, then grab cake and then get it to the player. It can't really get easier than that. So now you can easily see like, all right, maybe I should change the condition. Uh, then you know it's the if cake condition uh, and, and so on. Uh, one uh, last thing worth noting: if you want these names to go back to what they used to be, you can you can of course name them, but then they just have that name. But if you delete the name altogether and save it, then it will go back to like its original name, like that. And that's pretty much it. So nothing too much, but I think this is very useful when it comes to organizing your uh, flowcharts. Good luck.